I'm back with the brother to God. The more I see the Duke of Tears. How, how's everything been going lately, my brother? How's everything been with you this 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 so-called year so far? <laughs> Praise Allah, man. I mean, you know, we don't really celebrate it till like March, technically. Right. But you know, so far so good. We we good. It's actually like three New Years in a year. There's the one in September, which is the serious New Year. Then it's the fiscal New Year for the money people in January. And then it's the mm -hmm. true year for us in March. So, you know, not mm -hmm. to mention the Ethiopian New Year and all that other shit. So for the most part, man, same as it was, same as it's been, you know? Indeed. Indeed, my brother. Well, the topic tonight is a hot topic. It's a topic. I'm, I know that there's videos on TikTok, I see it, that's got millions of views talking about how the, the, the globe, I mean, the map is really upside down. So when I seen yeah, it, no. I said, I heard this information, something like this from somewhere <laughs> exactly. before. And you I'm know, like, right? from somebody. I'm like, I'm like, my spirit said, you got to read, you got to call I see it. So I called you. He was like, yeah, man, I did that years ago. I'm like, I knew it. I said, I knew it. Ah, oh, good. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I see it at oh, this point, you. we've been lied to so much, my brother. We don't know what's what, what's true, what's <laughs> false. We don't know if the earth is round, if it's flat, if it if the if the map is upside down, if it's right. They say Africa's much bigger and they I mean they don't lie about so much shit. I said, brother, in terms of what we're talking about today, no. in the map that no. we see, let's start out with whether it's upside down or not. Talk to me about that to start out with, my brother. Yes, the current map that they call the standard map of the globe is false. It's actually upside down. Um, Africa is made smaller than Europe, which is not true. Europe is actually smaller than Africa. Germany is farther to the right on the map than it actually is on the map. Um, it's inverted. Um, what else is wrong with it? On the actual legend, if you actually read the map itself, it says that this is not an accurate depiction of anything. It says it mm. in the legend of the map. The fact that a map has a legend. Remember, a legend is a story coming from the remote past that technically can't be proven. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. However, it is accepted as the truth. So every map that you know of that we've seen since grade school has had a legend on it. So that should show you that, that whatever the map is entailing is not 100% accurate. Mm. Yet, we were given geography classes, social secure, social studies classes and all that shit, where we had to accept and memorize where these things were, which created an indelible mark between our super conscious that knows what this stuff really looks like, because it, our super conscious exists in the realm of what people would prefer to as the fourth or the fifth dimension, right? So your superconscious sits above your subconscious and your subconscious sits above your conscious, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you are presented with something in the conscious realm, your unconscious mind automatically knows what it really is. And then your superconscious has automatically either debunked it or moved you towards the reality in the realm of your mind that exists in the superconscious. However, mm -hmm. if your conscious mind cannot come outside of this being false, right? Because you've been educated on a conscious level, then your superconscious and your subconscious keeps the truth of that at bay. So your conscious mind can walk through the basic reality under the illusion is real. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, when they say, um, your thoughts become actions, that's mm -hmm. the same thing with this. Like your mind actually agrees to promote that which is true or that which is not true. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if your mind accepts something that is universally perceived as true but in actuality is not then there's a there's a problem you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. is everything good yeah just looking for the map islam so that's what's happening with the map and everything in itself like all of that stuff is just basically like fake 
So mm. it was given to us so that way we understand things on a basis and accept fiction as reality. Continue to give mm. us fictitious reality. You see what I'm saying? That we participate in by accepting their version of it as opposed to what we see coming from our common sense. What what's the purpose though? I said, how does it what how does it serve their agenda to make an upside down map? How does that hurt us and help them for the shit to be upside down? It's gotta be in the room. I don't know. Don't worry. Say again, Mo. What purpose again, does it serve them? Can you hear me? I see. It. The purpose is to keep every can you hear me? Yeah, did, did you hear the can question? You hear me? Yeah, yeah. Did you yeah. hear the question, my brother? The purpose is to keep the purpose is to keep everybody outside of the reality that they have created for us all to live in. It's their reality. It's not real. It's fake. You see what I'm saying? Like, there's no, there's no, like when you get off the plane in the continent they call Africa, there's no big word across the whole continent that say that in real life. You understand? There's no real specific boundary lines between North Carolina and South Carolina. These are all right. imaginary lines yes. that were created yeah. that people mm. act like are real. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Yes. In order for them to create a reality by which they can enforce unreal things in reality. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? So it's it's so in order for people to accept their version of the world, they had to remake the world in a version that was more analogous to their evolution. Our planet wasn't dealing with any of this fictitious imaginary demarcation lines and any you know? so Tater Map, right, which was the one that um they Say that again. What map? Say that again. You cut off. What, what map are you talking about now? Africa bigger than. I don't think you can hear me. I'll say, can you hear me? I refer to it as a Mercator. Yeah. Can... Yeah, you like cutting. You cutting in and out. You're cutting in and out. But I, I heard that last part. But... I don't know what's up with that. Go, go ahead. Just go ahead, brother. Yeah, it's always something when I'm on the show. Well, the Mercator map is one of the maps that they use to go through all of this fake stuff or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But in reality, the map, as we see it, as you've been come to know it, you just need to reverse it, meaning turn it upside down. And you will see what I've been saying for years that all civilizations start in the South first. But when you look mm -hmm. at the map, they got the South at the bottom and the North at the top. You see what I'm saying? So in mm -hmm. reality, for instance, I'm in, uh the florida republic right mm -hmm. you're in where you in new york in new york yeah you're in new york right so technically they say that i'm at the bottom of the country because i'm in the south but in actuality you're in the bottom of the country when you flip the map because everything south is warmer so all civilizations start in the warmer climates then expand out to the colder ones. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the South is actually the top of the country. The North is actually the bottom. You see? But in the map that they got, you see what I'm saying? When you flip it, it's the reverse. It's just how they do it. Indeed. Indeed. You know what? I, I think there's a, there's a time yeah. delay with me. Yeah, there's a time delay with me talking to you. That's why it's a little off. Got you. Got you. Um, it's all good. Do, we'll do, do me a favor. Could you try logging off and logging back on? Let me see if that if that helps it any. Because somebody else had a, had an issue with this, and they came back on, and it, and it was working fine. Okay, I'm going to leave and come back in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, my brother, I see it does that, family. Uh, what's going on with y'all? We're just trying to make it so that there isn't uh there isn't a time delay between the both of us because uh, you know, I'm trying to talk to him and he's getting my question 10 seconds later, it throws everything off. We'll fix it. If not, then 
the brother could just, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. But so far, what he's been saying is just, it's been, um, well, amazing stuff in terms of, um, you know, that these fake demarcation lines, like who said this is North Carolina and this is South Carolina? Who said this is Georgia? Like they just draw these imaginary lines and we, we bought it to this reality, this program, the simulation. And we're like, oh, look, there goes Georgia. There goes that. Who the fuck said that's Georgia? Who the fuck said Georgia ends right there and Georgia this big? Who said Florida looks like this, like a boot? You know what I'm saying? These are all, you know, and it's all, it's all man's imagination. But um, this is a new paradigm and we're getting to it. So as we wait for the brother to come back. Uh, shout out to Steven for sending the cash app already. All right. I didn't put my cash app up yet. Thank you, Steven Baker. I appreciate it. Cash app, that means a lot. With, with, with this channel, you know, well, here go the brother here. Let me see. Um, connect my brother, I see it. Yeah. All right, I see it. I see it. Yeah, my brother's camera's frozen. Yeah, let let the brother, you know, let's be uh patient tonight. Get the brother opportunity. We're gonna get it right. We always get it right. Uh we 13 minutes into the show. So we got about almost about a thousand people and we 13 minutes. That's good. That lets me know y'all want to know about this. So that is good. That is definitely good. Uh oh, did somebody said not them. Oh, you a whole vibe to that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had fun the other night. Oh, we got some trolls in here. Oh boy. Oh boy, the trolls. You know, they need attention. The trolls need attention. Oh man. Attention is like oxygen for trolls. If they don't get attention, they can't breathe. So they say the most outlandish shit. Just so they could get attention. That comes from your mama or your father didn't give you attention. And you take that shit out in the world when you get older. You know, for the trolls out there. But it's all good. You know, shit happened. You know. Um, just donate. If you troll, donate. Because I'm actually allowing the trolls wow. to get it. You know. So, yeah. Okay, I, you hear me, my brother? Delay. Yeah, my brother. Let's hit it with us. I see it. I come on every. <laughs> I see it, my brother. I see it. Do you think it's the room you're in? Do you think if you uh, or well, maybe the brother should just connect with audio or something? I don't know. Let me call the brother. Got to brainstorm in real time, family. That's what we got to do to figure this out. Get this right. Maybe the room also, yeah. Maybe YouTube with their bullshit. You never know what it is. You know what I'm saying? You think it's his Bluetooth headphones? I don't I don't think he got Bluetooth headphones. Let me, I'm calling and ask him, though. Yeah, anything y'all recommend, let us know. Let us know, family. Call the brother right now on his phone. Yeah, I'll wait for the brother to call me back, family. But in the meantime, um, uh, for those who just join us, interview him on the phone. Yeah, I thought about that, but um, he I think he could also connect to um, the stream and uh, where I'm at on audio. Let me talk to the brother now. Yo, I see you. Yo. Yo, do you, um, somebody asked, do you have one Bluetooth headphones? 
Okay, you don't have them blue. Do you think it's the, is is it the room you're in? Do you usually have and do you have problems in that room at all? Nope. <laughs> so just, just with me and you interviewing, it, it happens. <laughs> you said that before. This this you know that happens to Doctor Valentine also, yo. Always some bullshit. Yeah, they even put a delay on on my YouTube videos, but it should be like off sync sometimes. I like, guess what they be doing. Damn, that's good. I don't have no team to like help, so I don't know. Um, do, are you able to connect just through audio on the link I gave you? Is that possible? Uh, I guess I try. Yeah, see if you could if you could connect just through audio. I'll just leave it the map on while we build. Yeah. Let me know. We gonna get this right, family. This information gonna come at you one way or another. <laughs> All right. What's going on with y'all in the chat? What's happening with you? I'm, I appreciate the uh, all the suggestions I see y'all making. Uh, Zoom software is better. Uh, I didn't have this problem with Zoom also with our and um, Dr. Valentine. It's, it's, it's bigger than whether it's Zoom or StreamYard. You know. Oh, they, yeah, they, oh, they do that on our channel? Yeah, that's the brother just said that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the brother got some polling information. You know that. You know, the brother definitely got some polling information. So... I'm not. I'm, I'm not surprised. Did, did you try with just the audio out here? Yeah, I'm trying now. Let's see. If you'll let me do it. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. My brother had the purple backdrop. Come on, man. I got the Buddha, and my brother had the purple. Come on, man. Shit. Damn, man. <laughs> the setting was perfect. you're talking about yeah shout out i see uh yeah definitely shout out to the buddha holding the mic this is the, the best uh mic stand what you said i said i'm gonna try this can you hear me yeah I hear you now yeah okay well let's see I'm just curious. Can you hear? I see you on the phone. I'm talking to him on the phone. On the oh, phone, guys? Let me. Uh, well, I see you. I see something just popped up. It's on. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you right now. Um, okay. It says they will need to connect their mic cam before they can before you can add them to the stream. Okay, so I gotta put the mic. In. Can you hear me now? Not not on. The, I hear you on the phone, but not not on the um. No. No, right? Family, uh, I got the phone up to the um we're gonna do this one way or another, family. Trust me. That's how I, in life I learned that you know <laughs> there's always a way. There's always a way. There's always family. Can y'all um I got the phone up to the microphone? Can you hear my brother? I see her? You're gonna to have to work with us tonight. Can you hear my brother? Peace. I see it. Peace. We could also try to reschedule it, bro, if you want, man. Because I don't want you to, you know what I'm saying? Have to go through all this bullshit. We do it tomorrow. Um up to you. Because it seemed like I don't know. It's like it's like I'm back in it, and every time I come back in it, see now it's delaying. Like, why is it delaying? And I can't even see shit. Well, they can hear you on the phone. Um, okay. We could, we could. I can hear. It's on you. If if you feel comfortable, I'm good to roll, my brother. Um, okay. They said they saying it's louder now. It's clear. Okay. If if you cool, if you cool with it, my brother, I'm cool with it. Okay. 
I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna throw this map on. I'm. I'm gonna put this map on. I right, family. We're gonna make it work tonight. I appreciate y'all for the. Um, he's good now. He's loud now. Keep it going. Good. Don't reschedule. Okay. All right. We're gonna keep it going. All right. This is a very important topic, family. Uh, this is something. Once we realize the extent of how we've been lied to, it forces us to go inside because outside is nothing but lies. So we gotta go inside. So. This brother, I said, let me tell y'all, he came on the scene, man. I don't know if it was like 2007 or something like that. The brother's awesome with his information. I need y'all to support this brother. We about to get into it, but I need y'all to support this brother. I got his info in the description. Make sure you support this brother. But this topic tonight is one of the topics he introduced to the internet. So when you see the TikTok, the Instagram videos, when you see all these videos go viral, this is one of the brothers that introduced this topic of discussion to the internet. YouTube, a lot of these platforms, they shadow ban. They see there's names that the algorithm doesn't like. It's easy for them to program the computer to recognize certain names and say, hey, when this name pops up, sabotage this shit. So this brother, along with others, a couple of other names, uh, Dr. Valentine usually has technical problems, you know, and uh, it's important for us to recognize that these brothers, it's not no conspiracy theory. These brothers are being targeted. This yep. channel's being shadow banned. This shit is real, family. It's real. This shit is real. We're not just saying it because we want to sound fly. This shit is real. But let saying that to say, let's get back to the information. It's not going to stop, my brother. Continue saying what you were saying. You, you, one thing important you was talking about, my brother, was the imaginary lines that they placed in our reality that we think Georgia starts here, ends there. This starts here. This ends there. My brother, what I want to ask you is, so what about ancient... If, Kemet, if the map is a lie, how do we know ancient Kemet was where they tell us it was, my brother? We don't. We don't. You can hear me, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, we don't know that because we know that ancient, so-called ancient Egypt is over here with us. The colonies that was started was over there. The way we could tell this is because the first so-called pyramid that they found out there was a step pyramid, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So where's the step pyramids in the world where they found most of them at? Here. Here, yeah, 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 yeah. So that means then if the oldest so-called pyramid or pyramid that they had over there was a step pyramid, and that was the first, and then they started building the pyramidions that we know out there, mm -hmm. then that means that that step pyramid was based on the ones that was automatically here. Over here. You understand? Yeah. Which then showed that there's a connection between us and the satellite kingdom we created over there. Mm. However, the Egyptian boundary line was wherever the so-called ancient Egyptians lived or was at. Meaning that if I have a house, if I own a house in New York and then I move down to Florida, right? Mm -hmm. That house, and I now live in Florida, but I still got that house in New York. That means then that that house is under the jurisdiction of me, whether I'm in New York, whether I'm in Florida. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with boundary lines. Mm -hmm. You are the king or queen of the people you come up with. Mm -hmm. But you are the emperor or the empress of the people that you conquer or absorb into your kingdom. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So, so Britain had jurisdiction over land over in Albion across the water. But then they also had jurisdiction over the Britain that was here in the United States that we call the 13 colony. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So whether so really we're talking about the extension and the, and the 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 procreation of property whether it be foreign or domestic. So you can own whatever property you want, but whatever property you have, it falls under the jurisdiction of your account. So that again means then if this land was purchased by Egyptians, even though it's in Bengali. Right, then that's Egyptian land that's now in Bengal. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. 
but it doesn't change the geographic location of Bengali not being Egypt. It's just that Egyptians have turned a piece of that into um, Egypt based upon their dominion over the land. Mm -hmm. So now they can demarcate it, create boundary lines and stuff to say where it starts and where it ends. So when they created these maps or whatever to basically purposely make us believe that we were only from Africa, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That created a stance in our minds that anybody outside of Africa that looked like us is an African. Mm -hmm. That's not true. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like the people in Malaysia are just as dark as Africans, but they're not considered African. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nobody is going to them to proclaim and go back to their African roots. Mm -hmm. Same thing in, in Australia. Them people darker than all of us. Mm -hmm. Yet they have their own ethnology, ethnicity that they refer to as Australiopithecus. Yet nobody is going to them, talking to them that they should go and find their ancestry and go back to Africa. The only people on earth that are told that shit is us. <laughs> right, right. They never go to the Ethiopians and say, oh, well, you, you know, you really from Africa, so you should, you know what I'm saying, this, this, and that, right? They don't go to the, to the dark-skinned Guatemalans or the dark-skinned Bolivians or Hondurans. They don't even mention the fact that Mesopotamia is in America, is in the South America. Mm. They won't tell you that half of this stuff in the old world is actually here. But then that's when you got to get into other maps. Like there's a map called the exotic map of the United States. Okay. And when you pull that map up, you'll find that they have every place out there is over here. Morocco's over here. Lisbon's over here. Krypton is over here. Turkey is, is Tuscarora, which is North Carolina. Mauritania is in the, in the um, Midwest. It's in the out West. So depending on what people you was with when you was here, it depends on what them people call it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So some people call this place America. Some people call this place the United States, right? Mm -hmm. But they're two different things. America is North, Central, and South. The whole hemisphere. Mm -hmm. The United States is just North America. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when you become a citizen of the United States, technically you're cease being an American because the United States is the occupational government that is low key representing America, which itself is a misnomer. That comes from Al or Amarica or Amaruka, depending on which clan of or a tribe or whatever you was coming in with. You see what I'm saying? But all of these maps come to us down from the Piri Reis map, P-I-R-I-R-E-I-S, Reis being a Turkish uh, name or title, title for uh, like chief, like Regis. So Piri Reis map, when you watch, when you look at his map, his map got Australia, it got Antarctica going around the entire world. And all of the continents that we call the seven continents is in the middle of that. Hey, I said, can you, um, can you, you can hear me, right? Yep. Can you see, still see the screen on YouTube? Because I want to show you what I pulled up on um, Google. I pulled up. Uh, yes, that's the exotic map. Okay, so this is what you was talking about. Yes. Now, if you zoom in on that map, uh, go around the area of Georgia, you'll see it says Krypton. Go right in the Midwest where you see where the Great Lakes would be at, you will see it says Morocco. I see Morocco right here, y'all. And I see Madrid, Denmark. Yeah. This is some yeah. crazy shit, man. Come on. I see so Cuba. And guess what? All the of fuck? Them places is still there. They still there. The town of Morocco is older than the kingdom of Morocco. 
How you do that? Shit. Remember, Morocco was founded in 1956. Ukraine was founded in 1991. My grandmother's older than half these nations that's out here today. You understand? Shit. I see Palestine where Texas would be. Exactly. Paris, Scotland, Sudan. Sudan. Krypton? Yeah. 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 So Morocco, you see Egypt? No, where's Egypt? Should be around where Morocco at. Let me I see Morocco. Yeah, the map is a little blurry, so I don't see all no, the names. It's there. You can go through that. Everybody can go through it at their leisure. But this map been here before all of us were born. And these towns that's in the United States is older than all of the nations that have these names. Uh -huh. So that means that those nations that you see today took all of those names from the lands that we already had over here. Mm. So they there's no they, they, they all right. got their names from towns in over here. Everybody. Yes. yes. So this really, I was talking to a brother the other day, Rod. Hey, so this really is the the land of milk and honey, then. Would yeah. you say that? And that's why everybody come here. That's why everybody's here. It's always been like that then. If they cut yeah, if they countries were so great, if Africa was so great, why you got so many Africans over here? Why do they all come here? Why don't so, they build up their own country? So us you don't go with the idea that Africa is the the motherland? You you don't you don't go with that? Uh the whole I'm philosophy. Single, I'm not into single parents raising children, <laughs> even though unfortunately we had to do that. So oh, if shit. I'm going to acknowledge the mother, I have to acknowledge the father, because the mother didn't make that baby by herself, did she? No, sir. All these years, I've heard these niggas in the cons community talking about the black woman's god and this, this, and that, and all of that, and she don't need a man to have a baby. I'm 48. I ain't never seen nobody on this earth have a baby by themselves outside of the lab or the devil creating some sort of IVF concoction to do that. Mm. So if you want to have a human, a totally human baby, you need a man and a woman, period. Mm -hmm. and, and all of the gender stuff and all of that, that's irrelevant. That don't exist because God forbid anything was to happen right now. You could have a trans, so-called transgender female, right? Mm -hmm. If that female died today and a hundred years later, we dig this motherfucker up. You know what they're gonna say? What? This was a man from 2020. Mm. <laughs> Facts. So everything else is cat. Everything else is you trying to uh trying to abscond somebody else's gender and identity because you can't make it in your own. Mm. So if they do that with gender, you don't think they do that with maps? Mm. You don't think they do that with books? Same <laughs> like thing. That's what they do. Yeah, this is what they do then. Yeah, because that's the only way they can survive is by perpetually creating a confusing reality. So that way we stay in flux trying to figure it out and therefore give it energy to exist. Mm -hmm. When all you got to do is use your common sense and detract yourself from that. Mm -hmm. Common sense is, is common for a reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mm -hmm. don't need money to have it. You don't need experience to have it. You just need to be able to listen to your inner self and know when somebody says something, there's a vibration that comes with it. And if you listen close enough, you can hear whether that vibration is true or false. So, so I see it when they say uh, the first human that they find could find the traces of the first human, Lucy was born in Ethiopia. Is that Ethiopia over here somewhere? Like, what should we, what do you think about that? The problem with the Lucy thing is that they're still trying to link you up with a, with an ape. Mm. Have mm. y'all seen images of Lucy? So when they say the first black woman was to do this or whatever, whatever, her name was Lucy and this, this and that, right? Mm -hmm. Have y'all ever seen, have y'all seen the picture of this black woman they talking about? No. It's a dark skin Neanderthal. Mm. That's not true. Mm. We don't have no RH recess monkey DNA in us mm -hmm. unless we in unless we mix up with somebody that's not us and then bring that into our shit. 
Mm -hmm. So if you don't have no recess monkey in you, that means you don't have no Denisovian Neanderthal in you. Therefore, if the oldest woman was Lucy, who happened to be a so-called woman, she was a woman and not a Denisovian Neanderthal. Mm. So that's cap two. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Meanwhile, if you go into the study, the epigenetic studies that they've been doing here in the United States, they found a patrilineal DNA between a black man in South Carolina that went back over 385,000 years. So we could say basically a million years, because you know they undercut. Yeah. So yeah. if they say it's 385,000, you know it's closer to 500,000 or a million. Right, right. Like they like they so, did with the Million Man March, like that. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So what they did was found this DNA and found that the unbroken line between a so-called black man in South Carolina <laughs> DNA goes back over 500,000 years here. Mm. Also, pull this up. 250 million year old piece of Africa found in Southeast United States. Pull that up. There we go. 250 million. 250 million year old piece of Africa found in Southeast United States. Okay, um, let me let me share this. Oh, you found it. See, I thought they took it down. Great. Let me uh, let me just share real quick. I said, let me hold up. Let me bear with us tonight, family, because this is extreme. This is going to change your whole paradigm. This is going to change your whole. Give me a second, family. Um. Mm -hmm. uh, Damn, where am I? Okay. Damn, no, it's not this. No, no, no. Give me a second, y'all. Give me a second. Okay, okay, that's what it is. Okay, I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay, I got to share this, my screen, and I go here. All right, so 50 million year old piece of Africa found in southeastern U.S. Larger portions may still be discovered and this is from uh what's this international business times so, international business time look at the date on it. what the date say this is from 2014 my brother wow <laughs> exactly. wow so, so what's, what's this about what, what is this about i said what's this about it's about what i'm saying that we don't have to go to africa because we already here we already and in africa west of mali is western africa i.e north af northwest africa for showing and proving that this is again the Al Maghreb Al Aqsa, the Morocco of the farthest west. When you read that article, it says that everybody on the southeast coast basically is connected to that portion of Africa that was the west, which then means then that we're already where we say we at. You understand? That means that portion of Morocco that was over there was connected to New Jersey. And shit over here in Maine over here. You understand? So when we more saying that this is the old Morocco of the old Moorish Empire, we ain't lying. <laughs> this is the proof. Yo, let, let me read this There's small. Nobody. Let me read this small piece right here. I see you. Read it, Mo. Uh chunk of Africa found hidden under Alabama. Now, this is <laughs> this is mind-blowing family. Come on, y'all. Geologists have found what they believe is a slab of Africa still stuck under America. 250 million years after the two were squeezed together by a giant tectonic collision to form a supercontinent. Unusual magnetic readings from deep below the Earth's surface suggest that Florida and parts of the southeastern U.S. states comprise ancient rock from what is now Africa, which broke away from the landmass that is now North America 250 million years ago to form a separate continent. God damn, I said, you ain't making this shit up, brother. Whoa. No. And on top of that, I told you that the patrilineal DNA between the black man and the black child goes back over basically a million years. 
So there's nobody on the planet that's older than us. There's nobody in America that's older than us. This also means that that whole idea that we came from the Africans is all cat. Mm. It's not real. <laughs> we are our own individual people the same way they are. But what separates us is the this melanin distribution and the customary traditional values that we had. That's it. Everything else is them trying to make us put us under somebody else so that way we give up the jurisdiction of all of the land and the power that we have here. Why I need to go to Africa when Africa under when parts of Alabama is Africa? Damn, my brother. That's why you can that's why the United States, North Central and South America, has the geographic location, has a geographic uh template of almost every nation on earth. You want to you wanna live in a place like Russia? Go to Alaska. You want to live in a place like, like Tunisia? Go to Texas. You want to go to a place like Lebanon? Go to um, um, Atlanta. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So this is why, again, everybody come here. <laughs> because mm. we always was been here. We always had empire. Now, look up a map called the Barbarous Tribes of the East Coast or, or barbarous, okay, barbarous nations or barbarous tribes of the East Coast is a map. It'll be like pink and it'll have like yellow in it, blue. Barbarous tribes in the East Coast, maps. Can you, am I sharing this? No, no, I'm not sharing this. Yeah, let's see. Let me, uh, let me share this, share screen. Okay, let's, is this it? Yup, that's it. So what's, what's this, my brother? What, what is this exactly? Read what it say. Distribution of the Barbish tribes east of the Mississippi. Okay, so we just read that 250 million years the whole southeast portion of the United States was a portion of Africa, right? Yes. Now, the name that they used to refer to the Moors that used to run the world, and specifically that, was called what? The Barbary or the Barbarous Powers, right? Mm -hmm. So now what you have on your map right there is showing and proving that these so people that they call the Indians was actually Moors connected to North Central and South Africa. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because of the fact that the term barbarous was only used to describe Moors. Mm. Or barbarians or anybody descending from the Carthaginian peoples who are the ancient Mauritanian peoples who are the true possessors of North Central and South America. That's was written uh, in the congressional records on the annexation of Texas in 1845, mm -hmm. where it says that all of the Americas tribes of the east mm. of which the main one was who the lenabe the delawares and they mm. were referred to as moors so much so that even up into the 1950s people who were considered of the moorish nation and empire they had they they had to put m's on a license place to distinguish them from everybody else they had their own schools where no whites or blacks could go you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These same so-called Moors got redesignated as American Indians, right? And then the ones that chose not to go with the designation became known as renegades mm. or barbarous. Mm. You see? And they then, the ones that was okay or wound up falling victim, right? And wound up being transitioned, 
they wind up becoming falling under the term Negro. And those Negroes now, when that space was created, that's when they put the Siberian white people in the I uh under the, the term Indian, mm. which then allowed them to reserve the space and keep us from going on those ancestral lands that we had direct connection to because we were no longer in our proper purpose. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me let me let me ask you this since you you talked about the um Lenape. What what is this on the screen right here, my brother? Could you could you explain? Because I, I seen this while while we was just looking at the other map. What exactly is this? Uh it says yeah, Eastern right. Woodland Indians map distribution. Yeah. Those are all moors. These are all moors, you're saying. Right. Er, Iroquois, Iroquois, Erie. Iroquois, Algonquin. Right. Iroquois was not a tribe. Iroquois was the dialect. You had the Iroquoian dialect. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you had the Iroquoian dialect. You had the Sioux dialect, right? And you had the Algonquin, or what they call Algonquin, right? And those are the three basic dialects that they was dealing with at the time of, of the fall with them. But uh, these Eastern Woodland and all of that, these clans, you have a tribal name. Your tribe is the people you come from. Your clan is the people that those people descended from. Mm -hmm. So I'm a Creek or Chalatagi, which is Cherokee or Ananawea, right? Depending on what side you want to go for, my mother's side, my father's side. So I would be a Creek Rogers, right? Mm -hmm. Or a Tesalagi Rogers of the Moorish clan of Eel. You see, mm -hmm. they work in tandem, not against each other. Mm -hmm. Like these idiots on the TV, on the on these shows, trying to cause more division amongst us, calling themselves Aboriginal or Tonkin. All of that's cool, man. But you cannot use a descriptive definition to define you when there is actual a national identity that does that. Mm -hmm. So why would I describe myself? So you don't want to use the descriptive to define your nationality. You want to use the nationality to accent the descriptive. You understand? Give me an example. So if I so, say yeah. I'm Ab so if I say I'm an Aboriginal American, that's cool. But that doesn't define what that is. That just means that I'm somebody who's saying that I was here in America first. Mm -hmm. Right? But what does that mean? Who is that? Like what Aboriginal? Like you understand? And why use the term ab original when you could just use the term original? Mm -hmm. Well, I put the ab in front of it, which in the Latin can defer to a boar mm -hmm. or like your abdomen, the middle, or it can mean farmer. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like you asked me about the motherland. So if there's a motherland, then where's the fatherland? At? Right here. Mm. <laughs> right here. Because we were growing up, anybody that grew up in the nation of gods or earths at a 5%, what is say? Who is the original man? The original man is the Asiatic black man, maker, owner, ruler of the planet Earth, far from civilization, god of the universe, right? Mm -hmm. But when we use the original, the first letters of each one of those words, original Asiatic black man, if we jumble it up, like on Soul Train, the jumble, we get the term, the word Moab. Mm. Right. And the Moabites were the Moors. Right. These are the ancient, ancient people who gave the Hebrew people their culture. Mm -hmm. Remember, the Hebrews adopted the culture of the ancient Canaanites and the ancient Canaanites and Moabites were the same people. Mm -hmm. And they are the precursor people to the people we call the Carthaginians and the ancient Mauritanians and the Etruscans mm -hmm. and the Fomorians. And all of these other nations, groups and nations and words that we would never even think uh, relate to us. Mm -hmm. So let, let that's me really it, bro. let me let me ask you this, my brother. Since we're talking about the map, let's uh, you know let me pull this up. I want to ask you about. I've been hearing a lot about because of the time we're in. I've been hearing a lot about Antarctica and the ice walls melting and 
be out be outside of the ice wall outside of the ice walls land continues like it's it's a it's an infinite plane of existence uh yes. talk to me about antarctica there's so much mystery surrounding antarctica the ice walls what's over there talk to me about that my brother okay uh like I said, when you read the Piri, when you look at the Piri Rays map, you see Antarctica goes all around the planet and none of it was in snow. None of it was ice. So it was land there. It was trees. They had mythical creatures, all types of shit. Mm -hmm. And this is still on the Piri Rays map today. Now, remember, all maps after that were based on the Piri Rays joint. Piri mm -hmm. Rays based his map on the ancient cartographers like Hanno. Mm -hmm. Everybody know Han Anybody knows Hannibal, but a lot of people don't understand who Hanno was. Hanno was the great grandfather of the lion throne of the Barker family. Mm -hmm. And he's the one who wrote the book Periplus, P E R I P L U S. You can get a free PDF version of it online. Anyway, in Periplus, he's the one that circumnavigated the entire planet and came here to the United States and set up the legal framework for what became the Republic of America. For the, what became a republic. The first republic that was founded in the world was founded here by mm -hmm. Hanno Bay. Mm -hmm. And the proof of it was written in the annexation stone called the Born Stone, B O U R N E stone, in Casa Kamakumit Bay in uh, Massachusetts. That stone is a legal document stating that this part of the world was re annexed back to the ancient Carthaginian Empire. Mm. We Moors are the descendants of those people. Mm. You understand? From then to now. That's why we Moors are the ones that named Africa. Remember, Africa is a Latin word. So if the Moors were the ones speaking the Latin and named it that, what is the African name for the continent? What is it? Let's get into that. What is it? Yeah, what is it? Yeah, what is it? I don't know. Every, all, I've been asking scholars this for years. Nobody can tell me. The closest uh, I get, closest I get is Aki Mulan. Uh -huh. That's the closest I can get. And then when I ask them, well, where did that come from? Nobody could tell me. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is the term Africa back in the days when it was first used had nothing to do with the fake story about Leo Africanus. I was just who about to ask that. Okay. Yeah. Who himself was a mulatto. These Romans was not white. Stop giving these people all of our ancient history and power. Like we was always at the beck and call of these people who only been in power for the past 200 years. They was not the ancient Romans. They were not. Caesar, Julius Caesar, and these niggas did not look like uh george clooney and these niggas that they be showing you that's not true <laughs> cleopatra did not look like queen elizabeth taylor and and hey Ru did not look like christian bale in the gods of egypt okay none of that's real so what about alexander the gay or the great or whatever you want to call him was he a mulatto alexander the great of macedon was a son of philip of macedon and philip of macedon was the vassal king meaning that he paid tribute to hannibal Mm -hmm. Hannibal is the one that gave Alexander all of the strategies to go take back that part of the world so they can keep the Carthaginian homogeny towards itself facts like look it up King Philip was a vassal to Macedon I mean to Carthage and Carthage and Macedon were allies in trying to expand the old Carthaginian empire into the far east and they used Alexander to do it Alexander and these niggas was not white. This was not Caucasian people, man. So so what about when they say Alexander blew off the nose of the Sphinx? That's a lie. That shit didn't happen until the 15th century. And that was done by a Muslim who was tired of the Muslims coming up to it because at the time they said it was buried up to the neck. So you had people that would come out there and actually worship it. Like, mm -hmm. like bow down to it like an idol. And this was the time that Islam, the religion, was now spreading like wildfire over and 
there was a heavy anti-idolatry campaign. And so this Muslim got tired. I forget his name. I had I got it written down somewhere. But he got tired of seeing that shit. So he went, got a cannon, and blew and tried to blow that shit up to stop the people from idol worshiping. So I don't know how it got into Napoleon, who who was another black man that they keep trying to make white. Well, Na <laughs> Napoleon, like Napoleon was black. Come on, man. Why would somebody who was virulently racist marry a black man? Why would he marry Marie Antoinette, who they say is black? Why would his number one commander, Alexander Dumont, right? Dumont was, there was nobody blacker than him. And why would he be Napoleon's right-hand man? Why would he do that? Why would Prince Marat, who they say was darker than sackcloth, and he was Marie Antoinette's brother? Mm. So how is this one white boy around all these so-called melanated people, mm -hmm. and we still looking at France like it's a like it's a white? Like, come on, man, we looking at remember the country of France as we know it went through a revolution. Marie Antoinette, Louis, and then they got they cut, got their heads cut off and shit. All of that was happening to black people. Marie Antoinette and them was melanated. You understand? All these people was melanated. The, the so-called, that's why they called the European nobility the black nobility. Why would white people who hate black people refer to themselves as black? Does that make sense? No, sir. No. No, it doesn't. But what these people have done is made you think that the term Europe means white. When the term Europe comes from a black woman named Europa. Who was the queen that gave her name to that portion of West Asia that they was now going to carve out for the sons and daughters of the old giant racist? Remember, there is no Europe. That's West Asia. <laughs> it so, became Europe. It became Europe during the, the so-called colonial periods. That's not Europe. That's West Asia. Remember, them people, remember the Moors shut down Rome. We shut the whole thing down we got tired of these niggas hostile taking over countries and nations and enslaving people and doing all of this debauchery we shut it down mm -hmm. and those roman states once they were shut down they had no ability to reestablish themselves and so they went into perpetual night i.e the dark ages and ages 2126 years so when they say the dark ages that's plural, it's plural. Of that. Yeah. So we don't know how long these niggas was in the icebox, really. Shit. So once that happened, remember also Carthage, right? Our our illustrious Moorish, ancient Moorish uh empire, right? Mm -hmm. Kingdom, mm -hmm. republic. Because mm -hmm. it was all of that. Mm -hmm. That was also founded by a black woman, a so-called Asiatic melanated woman, who is now a goddess called Dido, D-I-D-O. See, in modern times, rap people would know Dido from the chick that sang on Stan with Eminem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. See how they do it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. See? But that's actually a melanated woman mm. who was the founder, one of the first founders of Carthage, okay? And Rome absorbed Carthage after the last battle of Zarma. And once the Battle of Zarma happened, the Carthaginians were absorbed into the more the Roman Empire. And then the Roman Empire merged with that, and then they started to work. But the original Roman Empire was founded by Ethiopians, mm. who came up from a, a satellite kingdom called Sabia and went up into those regions. So when we speak of the infinite plane, we're speaking of the world as it really is, as opposed to how we've been taught it is. We've been taught that we're on a ball spinning in space. Mm -hmm. Yet every time you've seen an astronaut in space, they only show you the Earth. How come they never turn the camera around and show you Mars or the sun or Venus or anything else? Because them niggas is not out in space. You cannot go out in space. If you want to go out in space, you got to get beyond the ice wall or go into the earth 
You see what I'm saying? Which then gives you the ability to look at the, the realm outside of the third dimension. So you got to go inside the earth to go out of space. Go inside to go out mm. into what we perceive as space. And space as we know it is just perpetual waters. Mm. Mm. It's perpetual water outside there. That's why when you be seeing the astronauts sometime and they be doing, you see these little bubbles going. Well, that's but that's not true. Them bubbles that you see in that is because they in a tank somewhere. In, a, in, in an aqua tank <laughs> somewhere doing it. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, when we go beyond the ice wall, that's where you have the other land masses. And those land masses that are there have their own sun, their own moon, their own planets, mm -hmm. their own stars. Mm -hmm. And then when you go beyond that one, it's the same thing. That has its own planet, its own stars, its own this, its own that. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so forth and so on, probably to infinity. But if we were living inside of a ball that was traveling and hurtling through space, um, I don't know how it is that we're on the ground. Like, I don't get it. Like, there's certain shit with that. And again, I'm not going into all whether it's flat or round. I'm not getting into any of that. Mm. I'm just talking again from the common sensible aspect. You can get a Britan you can get an Encyclopedia Britannica from 1958, and when you read about Antarctica in that in that volume, it says. That the world is bounded on other side by the firmament. Mm. That from the middle of the ocean going straight up is 385,000 feet to the top, right? Of the dome. It's an incline from the side of the dome now in Antarctica moving up. So it's a 12 degree, 12,000 mile incline every time you move closer and closer to the middle. This is what it say in their thing. And that was in the the Encyclopedia Britannica's from Udding. Mm -hmm. You got to now get them because they revise them. That's why they come out with the unabridged version, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the revised version because they mm -hmm. got to get rid of all that shit. Get that out of there. Mm -hmm. but that's what our ancestors were saying this shit was. That's why we built things like armillaries. A-R-M-I-L-L-A-R-Y. If you pull up one of those, you see what I'm talking about. It looked like an atom in a nucleus. Man, I said, this is some. I'm going to tell you, man, this is, uh, I know you've been on this tip, you an advanced brother, but this is some interesting <laughs> stuff for the rest of us who are probably hearing this for the first time or probably just Good finally God. understanding it for the first time, man. I just want to give on. you your flowers while you alive, my brother. You've been putting in Thank work you, for a long time, brother. Thank you, brother. Yo, one thing before we, yo, before we continue, uh, two things, family, we got 2,000 people in the chat. I need more of y'all to hit the like button. If there's 2,000, y'all hear what the brother's talking about? You're not getting nah, this yeah. anywhere. Now, nah, oh. some of them they can get it from the people who listen to me and then make their videos about what yeah. I'm doing. Yeah. I've got niggas that have made videos. They done made little movies. They done made books. <laughs> you said little movies. Oh, shit. Real talk. Like, little movies, little books. Oh. Shit, shit that I've directly said. Shit that I've directly showed over the past 15, 20 years. And... It is what it is. But again, the information is bigger than me. However, we are all supposed to give respect where it's due. The same way we came up, giving respect to the elders before yeah. us. Big, speaking of that, God bless the dead to Brother Daoud, man. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Thanks. He passed um, one of the original soldiers of the movement mm -hmm. of what became the conscious community when it was back before VH VHS tapes. Mm -hmm. Before mm -hmm. Bobby, before Phil, mm -hmm. they got to them respectfully, but you know who was out here. Yeah. It was Brother Daoud, man, to the yeah. point where George Carlin used to go and watch his videos and shit and then take parts of his material and put in his act. Mm -hmm. Facts. Like that was the wise brother, man, and put a lot of a lot of work down for the 7139 collective. So if nobody else big them up, I definitely want to give respect to the elder. You know what I'm saying? Um, because again, man, this is what happens. Our elders somewhat die in obscurity. Meanwhile, these white scholars, they be building straight mausoleums and shit. <laughs> All of them for them, you know what I'm saying? So we yeah, rest in power to the brother uh Dyer. Definitely that brother. Check that out. But yeah, more that's what they're doing. They they have created a perpetual fake reality that is constantly added on by people 
who are perceived to be outside of it, but is really down with it. You know what I'm saying? Indeed. Before we about to get into some Q and A, before we do, um, mm -hmm. brother I say, and for those coming in late, the brother I see had some technical difficulties. That's why you see me holding a phone to the mic because we were gonna get this done way, way one way or another. And as wow. you can see, it was well worth it when you when you when you heard what the brother just dropped in the past uh 45 minutes it was definitely worth it whether we got the audio representation of it or the video the brother dropped some serious jewels tonight for all of us to go do some research but brother i want to act yo listen i've been hearing for years about your queen's website um oh, yeah. uh, your queen selena uh uh what is it cordoba organics yes it is sir yes it is. I, i'm gonna listen i'm i'm gonna definitely order something do, do you mind if I go to the website right now, my brother? Sure, bro. That let, is, that be cool. let me see. Cordoba. What is it? Cordoba or Organics? Yep. Dot com. Organics. Let me just type that in. So, family, I've been hearing about now. I haven't bought anything, but you know how you keep hearing how good something is. Um, yes, like it's it's like early, like uh last year, I kept hearing how good Squid Games is, and I'm like, what the fuck? everybody's talking about it so i finally had to go see it and i just keep here and i'm talking about for years like something your queen is doing is consistent because for years they keep saying yo brother rich selena got the best products this and that so we on the website now cordoba or yo this is a fly website yes more it's yeah. all moorish all yo real moorish ancient recipes that was passed down to her and she's been on some real alchemical shit with it and it's been putting out and it's actually growing people's hair back, getting people rid of people's stretch marks. Wow. Let's getting people rid of people's dark spots, hyperpigmentation, and there's no no artif uh, artificial shit in it. She make it all. All mm. I do is help her, like maybe bring the bags down, pack the shit up, but really that's all coming from her divine mind, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So I'm real proud of her, man, and real supportive of that because that's how they usually try to break us down by going through our women so the fact that our women are becoming more industrious mm -hmm. and becoming more acclimated to bringing back the type of healing modalities that's specifically conducive to our people's healing mm -hmm. uh is very important man I'm and like i said the sister she is a direct for people who don't know i trace her lineage back she's a direct descendant of a calm it's the first who was one of the first builders of the uh libraries in cordoba i'm this, this, over this, there and over here this is one of the things i'm getting i'm getting this tonight for my queen the rosemary's baby yeah, herbal. Shit, bro. <laughs> the yeah, energy that I, you know how you could just feel the energy or something Yes, sir. Yo, I, just looking at this, I'm like, damn, I need she, that. Right? It's like we're going back to Spain. <laughs> yeah, this is this is fire. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the whole thing with it, man. It's like being able to really accentuate our person, our personality through our culture. That's what we have more than anybody else, man. The ability to fact that we are those original people. We mm. are those people in them statues. We are them people in them paintings today. That's why we can look at each other and see ourselves in them. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Well, what they want us to do is always eject ourselves and look at us as being broken, as being slaves, as being taken from somewhere, as not having any jurisdiction over anything, specifically ourselves, our minds, our children, our sexual organs, our literal bodies. And that's because when you constantly tell people that the place they born is not where they from, but then you bring other people that's not born here and give them more opportunities than the people that was already here. You are creating a divisiveness mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that becomes insistent within the psyche of the individual. And unfortunately, some of our people conform to it and try to change their physical appearance, their speech, the way that they talk, they manage <coughs> and everything to adapt to these other people who are not doing that for you. In facts who came from a place where your ancestors freed them okay our ancestors freed everybody on this planet mm. so how are we now the moors we done brought education design all of the, nobody would know nothing about so-called egypt or the ancient world if it wasn't for the people they refer to as the moors so how are the moors then 
the ones that are enslaving humanity, but then bringing it out of darkness at the same time. Which one is it? Mm. Mm. Which one is it to fit your little arguments? Because mm. you can go to the CDC website right now, type in Moors, and that shit will take you to Eastern American tribes. Then when you click that, I think it takes you to American Indian and it shows you every tribe, North, Central, and South America. <laughs> So what is that telling you? That tells you that the CDC know who the Moors are and that they're the progenitor parents to all of these other pseudo nations that came up under them that took the inferior designation of Indian, right, to basically ally themselves with the so-called Spanish, who were the dirty Moors who wanted to reinstate the Roman titles so that way they could change the natural laws we was dealing with and put us all under this corporate fiction shit that we in today. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm. Man, well, we about to uh, get to some q and I know the people want to ask you, but I'm going to tell you, man, your Queen Selena, she has some of the most attractive packaging right? I have ever seen in I'm my life. I'm not, I'm not, no, listen, listen, I say, I'm not just talking about in the conscious community, I'm talking about in the world. Like, nigga, if like, I period. if I go, period, yeah, period, nigga. If I go to Rite Aid, if I go to any beauty supplies, nigga, this shit look like I'm wow. Real talk, son. I be saying the same thing to her. I be like, yo, babe, you are incredible. This shit, tiger, look, look at this like, shit. And what's dope about it is that if you put it next to something, it looked like it should be already out. Like it's been out. No, exactly. Like, this shit is yeah, high level, high end. Now, I I've watched other agreement. I've watched other people in the community, like I said, monkey see, monkey do, try to copy certain shit, take her exact pseudo of what they perceive her recipes are, and then try to regurgitate it like that. And it don't come out like that. Yeah. Because again, there are there is no artificial anything in that shit. Yeah. And I've had people, she said they had people who didn't believe it, went and got it tested at a lab. And wow. wrote her back like, yo, I really wasn't believing you, but I took this shit to the lab on the low and they told me exactly what you said. So big up, sis. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice you know what I'm yeah. like, shout, shout out to uh, Selena, your queen, Cordoba queen. Organics. I'm, I'm going to give me a few stuff tonight. I'm actually, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go over a few things with my, with my queen and uh, I'm going to let her pick a few things. I'm going to pick a few things. But uh, yeah, keep keep up the good work, my brother. Like, wow, that's that's... Yeah, that's an amazing yeah. Oh, the queer they they talk yeah, here. Her, her products are on point. Yeah. Thank you, Roland. Let's let, like I said, she expedited. Everybody gets their shit when they're supposed to get it. There's never been no discrepancies. You ain't got to worry about people taking like none of that, bro. Everything is is handmade. So, Y'all want to know what's the what the website is in the description. I done said it five, mm -hmm. six, seven times. Cordoba Organics. The link is right in the description of this video, family. Cordoba. Let me paste it in the chat for y'all. I'm paste it in the chat for yeah, man. Nah, that's that right there. Thank you, brother. I hate when we come out with a product and people be like, oh, that's good for the conscious community. No, the, no, her shit is up there. Her shit look as good as anything out there. Don't tell me about no. Oh, it's it's just you're smart for a black person, huh, motherfucker. I'm saying I'm small for any everybody in the world. You know what I'm saying? No, real talk. Like she get shit from all over me, from all over the world. People hitting up about this shit. Especially in places like Japan. And it's been really, really dope, man. And I've been I'm really proud of her and the fact that she's been consistent with it and hasn't compromised her core values in doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like many of people try to do shit to shut them down because you know they hate. To see everybody talk about how it's you know black girl magic and shit like that, but you gotta understand all that shit is clicked up, all that shit is clicky, man. Mm. If you're not in a sorority, a fraternity, and any of that type of shit, you a soror or whatever the fuck or whatever, these chicks don't be trying to look out for you like that. Mm. I'm not talking about the audience, the people who are supporting. I'm talking about like the other shit. Like, yeah. oh well, how come she don't go on this page? Or how come this person don't shout her out? Because she got her own hair, she's not morbidly obese. She not out here trying to shit on nobody, and she stayed on herself. And in this new thing, they, these these type of people they want to see what you do, and then they want to do the exact same thing, get the exact same credit and shit you got, but they want it right now. Mm. And if they can't get it from you like that, they just act like you're not here. 
Like for mm. years, I was black, so called black bald in the so called conscious community. You know, mm. <laughs> these mm. niggas was not trying to hear nothing. They was following everybody else, listening to everybody else, lie to them, set them up for sexual rituals and all types of bullshit. And now look where we at. Mm. Now look mm. who's left. Who's left? Yeah. 2022. Who's left? And you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, God? Like, like it's a rap. They done chased the elders out. They done chase the elders out of this shit altogether. But real talk, the elders could have done more to, to put game on to these young cats that was coming and turning it into a goddamn Royal Rumble. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But again, man, when it comes down to it. You either have the verve to work and be consistent for yourself and your people, your family, or you don't. You're just gonna cash in, be gay for pay, or do whatever you're gonna do. Indeed, let's get to some QA real quick, family. Give me some good questions for the brother Isaiah. Also, uh, family, make sure you hit up the uh Cash App. Show support <laughs> for a show that brings you information like this. I got my Cash App on the screen. I'm also gonna put the brother Isaiah's Cash App. In the in the um chat right now as well, and uh, give me uh somebody uh I said while I do this uh and while our family support us out there, somebody asks was Nikola Tesla gay? Uh, not gay. I'm sorry. Was Nikola Tesla? No. Was Tesla really black? Yeah. Yes. The real Tesla was black or was melanated. And so what about like that picture we see? Distance. What's up with that picture we see? I said. Oh, the white boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a decoy. That's called decoyism. In the turn of the 19th century, when the when the black nobility that had its relationship to those European uh to those European royals, they wind up marrying into okay, the first European to marry into our side of the world family was a Moor, was a melanated king of England named uh Charles V. Mm -hmm. Charles V was the head of the Habsburg Holy Roman Empire mm -hmm. right? and he also was the king of Spain Nor well it wasn't Spain at the time but Norway, France like a couple of places mm -hmm. He, but, at, but really he was the head of the House of Bourbon and he was the head of the House of Habsburg mm -hmm. which made him the Holy Roman Empire mm -hmm. he was the 25th or 26th emperor to marry into the Inca throne in South America when he did that, he became the first Euro person from Europa, which was West Asia, to actually establish a nobility here on an ancient throne here in what at the time was closer to Jerusalem. Because the real Jerusalem for the for humanity, the real one, is down here in Peru. In Peru. Hidusa. Right. Mm -hmm. Hidusa. Mm -hmm. Um, get the book When Rocks Cry Out by Horace Butler. Get the book unexplained faces in ancient america by alexander von wuthenau mm -hmm. get the book uh saga america by barry fell and get another book <clears throat> called uh african presence in early america for mm -hmm. more on on that mm -hmm. you could also get the book return of the ancient ones by uh prince tupac bless the dead anyway when he did that, that gave him the right now to change the, the laws, you see, to take it from the ancient laws where we was all kings and, and sultans and shit over here to it having to be European. But now there's only one. You see what I'm saying? And now everybody fighting for that one spot. And so from there, he was able to annex the lands further up in mainland America that we to now today call North and South Carolina and made that part of the Carolingian dynasty because he was a part of that. Because this guy, Charles V, was a direct descendant of Charlemagne, right? Who was another black man, who was another melanated man. You understand? And um, when he did that, he went up and set up, at the time it was called Carolina. C-A-R-A-L-A-N-A. -A -A. Carolina, mm -hmm. right? Um, but after the Carolingians now finally came over, they turned it into North and South Carolina. So Tesla, from who was, I think, from Polonia, which is Poland now, uh, came from the time. But at the time, the Polish nobility, the nobilities of Europe were still melanated. 
the czars, the 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 uh, Roman uh, so-called um, Polonian dynasties, the brutish, the more all of these melanated people who live under them are the peasant classes. See the serfs, the serfdom, the Slovakians, mm -hmm. the Slovites, mm -hmm. the the Circassians. These are all the ancient names for the slaves, and they were distributed throughout the empire because we was using them like money. Mm. Get the book White Women Captives in North Africa. Get the book uh, Muslim Slaves, Christ no, Muslim Masters, Christian Slaves. Get another book called um, Black Confederates. Get another book called The Black Jacobins. J-A-C-O-B-I-A-N-S. And you'll see that all the, even get the book Sex and Race, volumes one to three by J.A. Rogers, Nature Knows No Color Line, Superman to Man, J.A. Rogers. All these books show you how all the nobility throughout the entire world was all melanated up until the 1900s. <clears throat> so Tesla ain't no different. But I also think that after the so-called black Tesla was, was flipped out and they put this fake white one that we see all the time, then Tesla, the term Tesla became like a work name. So they could put different people under it. That's how you could have a, a car named Tesla. Just mm. like you have a car named a Jeep. The Jeeps, that was a native, that was a, a so-called American Indian clan, you know. The Jeep, the word Jeep, yeah? Yeah, the Jeeps. Wow. That was the name of a people. That's why it is, that's why. Uh, Grand Cherokee. Grand yes. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. I get it. Cherokee, Damn, I never, I never put that up. Those was melanated people. Wow. Yeah. Same thing. I never like even Mazda. thought about that, brother. I never even thought about that, man. Wow. Yeah, like, like, like Mazda. Mazda is the name of a god, of a name of an Iranian god named Ahura Mazda. Mm. So you're writing an Iranian god, a, a, a vehicle created in the name of an Iran, ancient Iranian god. <laughs> people don't even know. Mm. That's why for so many years niggas was like, we need to buy American cars. That's why American cars was the best in the world at one time. Nigga, you get into a Dodge Charger right now and get into an accident. You walk right out that motherfucker. Like nothing happened. <laughs> you try to do the same shit in a in a Kia and see what happens. Mm. You out of here. You know, so yeah, mm. so Tesla, um, Henry Ford was black, Tesla was black, Napoleon was black. Uh, Henry Ford, well, like, uh, Mozart. What about Mozart? Mozart Beethoven, Beethoven. Um, who else? Uh, King George, King James, Anne Boylan, um, and Queen Anne, the Queen of Scots, Scotia. Who else? Mm. Um, most of the American presidents, like Rutherford B. Hayes, that's actually the nigga they show us. That looked like the old Frederick Douglass. That's actually Brother B. Hayes. Mm. Um, Booker T. Washington. That nigga, the nigga they show you is Booker T. Washington is actually Teddy Roosevelt. Mm? Yeah, look it up. See, I've been saying shit. <laughs> People mm. be like, what? Yeah, go look it up. Go into the National Archives and read about the real Teddy Roosevelt. Did you know that Teddy Roosevelt lived right next door to Duke Ellington? Mm -mm. No. And that and that uh and then they both live right down the street from Madam CJ Walker. No, nah, this was nobody in, knew this, right? This was in Harlem? Yeah, well, upstate. Okay. But yeah, they all lived in the same area. So why would this white man <laughs> who's the president of the United States and they say that he used to get on his horse and and ride over to um Duke Ellington crib and watch him and listen to them play music. I got a picture of Teddy Roosevelt on the same horse mm. from the National Archives that because that nigga they show us is Booker T. Washington, that's actually Teddy Roosevelt. Mm. Because all of history was reconstructed. People forget they recreated all of this. They flipped all of it. They didn't tell you the truth about one thing. And then, and then lie to you about the rest. They, they, they lie to you about, about everything. everything. And got niggas to help them do it. 
Yeah, you I said we I, I, I said we're gonna have to do a part two, man. God yeah, damn. Let's do it, bro. We we show you the pictures. I'll even show you the yeah, pictures. yeah. We're gonna have to, when you, you come on next on. time, we're gonna have the pictures. Wow, man. Shit, I see how you drop it. Let's let's get to the next question. Uh I said uh KC Sunshine, the sister wants to know what are his thoughts on Elon Musk taking people to live on Mars. Like I said. If you can't get off the planet and you from the original people, how are these niggas getting off? That's the first thing. Second thing is, how is the niggas went to the moon and never went back? Third thing is, these niggas ain't never been to Mars. If they ain't been to the moon, they can't go to Mars. You know how far Mars is supposed to be? Mm. You know how far Mars is supposed to be? I used to know the actual facts when I was in the nation God of the Earth. So I used to have to rattle them shits off because if you didn't, they beat you up. <laughs> but I can't remember it right now, but Mars is supposed to be mad far. Now, the question is, how come all these niggas talk about the Bible and shit like that? You ain't never read any passage in the Bible that talked about any planet other than Earth. Right. What you heard about was wandering stars. A star is different than a planet. The term planet, the word planet, mean. Damn, I had the old definition for I forgot. But it don't mean what we think it means. Mm. Um, these people, when they when you see them in Mars, them niggas is in Arizona in the Grand Canyon and shit, and then just putting a red tin on the lens. Mm. <laughs> That's what they're doing. That's fake. NASA is fake. It didn't happen. Matter of fact, on my Facebook page, if you go through it, you gotta go through the, the scrolls. But in it, I got the interview from Stanley Kubrick. Where he said that the whole shit was fake. Where he, he, the whole shit was fake. It never happened. And he did it because he needed more information about his movie, which was 2001, that happened at the same time. Because they used the same technology. It didn't happen. It wasn't real. Mm -hmm. And he couldn't say anything at the time, but he started to put it out around the time he put out the eyes wide shut shit. And that's when they allegedly clapped him. However, I think that Stanley Kubrick and Solomon Rushdie are the same person. Mm. Mm. So Kubrick did this interview and they, they couldn't put the, the interview out for 28 years. Mm -hmm. And he finally, they finally put it out and he admitted that the whole shit is fake. Everybody know the moon landed fake. Mm -hmm. Anybody still pumping that shit like it's real is definitely an enemy of humanity at this point. Mm. Let's get to um. Let's take two more questions before we get out of here. Uh, I see. Um, Aaliyah Bay wants to know, brother Rich, can I say speak on those that say the more sold out their own people? Um. Yeah, I would ask, what proof do you have of that? Because I just this shit I be hearing, and I'd be like, okay, well, what proof do you have of that? And then they say, oh, well, because as far as the proof that I found, we're the only ones on file that was actually getting money, that was actually enslaving the enemy, that was actually putting him in perpetual bondage, locking him up in the icebox. That's what we was doing. So I don't know how we was doing that and then destroying everybody at the same time. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how that worked. But there were in our dirty moors, i.e. dirty melanated people, who are willing to sell their own people into slavery and whatnot. But that's not indicative of just people who refer to themselves as Moors. That's humans in general. So I don't know why Moors were put to the side where they're the worst when most people never even heard of the Moors. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Until way later in their life. And now they want to go by it because sometimes people want to just be hebrews and so they want to act like the hebrew shit is the pinnacle sometimes they want to be egyptians they want to act like the egyptian shit the pinnacle they want to be muslims so they want the religion of islam to be the principle but we moors predated all of that and y'all wouldn't have none of that shit if we didn't preserve it for y'all to have mm. so there's mm. that um yes there were some dirty moors um but no more than anybody else. And there were more moors fighting against these dirty ones than was actually being dirty themselves. 
Mm-hmm. We was enslaving so many white people on this side of the world that they had to make laws to stop us from, from doing it. Mm. You understand? Here in the United States, mm-hmm. them black codes and shit was applied to the white people first because the white people were the people referred to as black at the time. Because black and white was a status and still is. Mm. They only flipped it to the color when they got rid of them enough mores who knew better. And they created a whole generation of niggas growing up in war camps and growing up under re-educational reconstructionism. Mm -hmm. And this is why you think you're Negro black color today. Mm. But remember, the Moors were the ones bringing information, bringing knowledge, bringing aqueducts, bringing uh, writing, reading, arithmetic. How is we bringing all of that and then at the same time not? Like, which one is it, y'all? So don't let these niggas that's on internet because they want to be Indians and all this other type of stuff deter you from the Morris side of your family because that's the side of your family with all the equity act. Mm-hmm. The Moors they never kicked nobody out of their clan because they wasn't black, because they wasn't melanated. The Cherokees did that though, didn't they? Mm. Right? The Moors don't, the Moors wasn't coming saying, oh, well, you can't be, you can't <clears throat> be this or that or and get this knowledge and shit. But the Israelites will tell you that. Right? Right. Mm. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The Moors, even though some of them are Islamic, a lot of us are Islamic in culture, that didn't necessarily mean that we was all Muslims. That's why the Prophet Noble Jali referred to us as Muslims. And now today people say, oh, well, that's just the same word, interchangeable. No, it's not. One word has a U, one word has an O. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So they're not the same word, even though they sound the same. Mm-hmm. Let's get to this last question. I said, um, the Black Zionist wants to know why is Putin invading Ukraine? It's oh, a great question. Mm-hmm. Great. Um, for a myriad of reasons. But the main reason is that back in the days when the Moors was running what they call Russia and all of that, Ukraine was occupied by a group of nomadic people who came from the steppes of the Caucasus that they let out and they consolidated themselves under the name the Cossacks. And the Cossacks were basically a military wing of the the ancient czarist nobility who all these niggas is moles all of them is dark-skinned people you can get a book called russian icons and almost every picture in that is of dark-skinned black people okay okay Okay. Mm -hmm. so all of russia was still under the old moorish empire connected to the old moorish empire through the czars because they didn't allow reconstruction shit like that to happen over there Mm -hmm. so that's why a lot of stuff wasn't whitewashed and while we can still see stuff in its original form because the russians believe it or not are not as racist as the rest of the white folk so the cossacks right back in the days had something called a homogenate and that homogenate was like they government and so in a government they was always doing the bidding of the czars but the czars always was kind of fearful of them because they knew that god forbid these niggas ever set up their own thing they would shut it all down and plus they was trying to take control of what was left of what they were referring to date as tataria mm-hmm. so they wound up getting into an agreement with them in which they would always serve them and then they wind up basically taking a bunch of their women and marrying them into the czarist thing which then give them perpetual control over them, right? Mm. So the Cossackian people, or the Cossacks eventually, after the Russian Revolution, after they got rid of all the Moors now, when Lenin and Trotsky, and, um, excuse me, yeah, when Lenin and Trotsky came in there and set up the communist thing, right, to allow the homosexuals now to take over everything, right? Mm -hmm. They wasn't feeling that. So it was a big war amongst them and eventually they exiled and got rid of the last of the nobility now the oldest nobility in europe is the oldenburg the oldenburg is the parent nobility of the romanov Mm -hmm. okay with czar nichols and them czar nichols and them remember at this time russia controls everything from russia all the way over to alaska all the way down into california all the way down to hawaii 
Mm. So the Hawaii nobility, so King Kamahena, who is the first king of Hawaii that set up the kingdom of Hawaii, mm -hmm. his real name was Alexander II. He was the Roman, excuse me, he was the Russian czar who established the kingdom of Hawaii and took the the Alawutan that that what are they? How is it spelled? I think it's called Alawut, Aleut, A L E U T. The Aleut clans or native peoples that was there, and they all formed the kingdom of Hawaii. And then the people under them now became Hawaiians. Mm -hmm. See, this is when Russia was running America under the from the capital in Alaska, which we now call Alaska. And that capital was called, that era was called Nova Orgelskik. And in Nova, in Nova Orgelskik, which was American Russia, he had agreements with all of these people. So when they wind up selling Russia back to the Russian territories to the United States, this didn't happen until 1867. Okay. But remember, the Civil War ended in 1865, right? Right, right. So you mean from 1733 to 1867, 1867, Russia was ruling the western portion of America and nobody told me and these Russians was black mm. Mm. and nobody told me and they reorganized themselves as Hawaiians. So the first king that they show you of King Kamahena, the first, that's actually Alexander II from Russia because mm. that's what the Russians looked like back in the days mm. so russia is 80 miles from alaska so you can literally see it if you're standing in the right place you understand mm -hmm. that's how close these niggas are mm -hmm. so after all of this happens let's jump ahead now to the 90s clinton comes in they are filing a, a, a stratagem that they developed called the plan for a new american century this was established by a dude named Wolfowitz, Paul Wolfowitz, and a nigga named Donald Rumsfeld. But this report under Clinton was out there. So what they started to do was destabilize everything. Because remember, the so-called Iron Curtain fell in the 80s after Reagan. Mm -hmm. When that happened, all of the Soviet, the so-called Russian states were broken apart. So now they all could be independent. But Russia still controlled a lot of what they call the Eastern Bloc states. Mm -hmm. So they were free, but they still had KGB and shit like that in there. United mm -hmm. States was now trying to establish their own dominion in there to be able to eventually be able to set up military bases for the eventual invasion of what would be Russia later. Right? Mm -hmm. That didn't happen in the 80s because you had, remember, it was Kosovo they was fighting at first. Mm -hmm. Then they started going into Georgia, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then they started busting in South Ossetia. Then by the end of the, the Clinton era, you had the whole crisis in Bosnia, Herzegovina, based on a dude named Slomodan Milosevic, who was out there blowing shit up, killing people, and specifically targeting, killing Muslims, darker-skinned Muslims. Is what they was doing. He was all backed by the United States. So after all of that happened, everything was shut down. Um, the, the NATO, which is really the United States and all the nations that they got to pay them tribute to, came in and said, we need to establish a buffer state zone between us and Russia. Mm -hmm. So this is where Ukraine came in. Mm. So when Ukraine was able to went through the civil war at the end of it, they refounded it in 1991. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. In 91, who made that deal? Joe Biden. Joe Biden was the one that made the deal that they would basically allow them to establish the new so-called democratic Ukraine. And mm -hmm. in that they will receive American propaganda and culture, mainly neo-Nazism. Mm. That's why the and Nazis that's is over there so heavy, right? And they specifically put them in the highest part of the military. I mm. think it's called the Asimov branch, but don't quote me because mm. Asimov is also a, a science fiction writer. Mm -hmm. But in the Asimov branch, they was the heaviest ones with the racism shit. That's why you can look back at 
Ukraine was so racist with their own soccer team, meaning they would get Africans to come play soccer for them and call these niggas niggas and shit while they was playing for them. That they got so racist with the shit that they had that they was talking about segregating the black players from the white players. Damn. That's how racist these niggas are. Damn. They so racist that during the George Floyd shit, these niggas was holding up signs to support Derek Chavin. Mm, in Ukraine. Yes. 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 That's how racist and Nazism them niggas. So now your man, now remember, Nazism, according to the liberal branch in this country, is infested in every portion of American society, right? So why when this nigga Putin come out and say he going in and shut Nazis down, these Democrat niggas got a problem. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Why they got a problem? Because the Nazis were set up by the current president that's there now. His son Hunter Biden was over there making all of them deals, and they were setting up bio labs out there. The bio labs that they were setting up out there was a part of a joint bio research um, um, grant that was established by the WHO, CDC, United States, and Ukraine. You can look it up. This is facts. So when this nigga came in, so you know that he's not going in there specifically to destroy the country because when these niggas invaded Iraq, what's the first thing they did? They blew up the power plants. They blew up the water uh, treatment plants. They blew up the railroads, right? Mm -hmm. They Because this standard operating procedure when you invade something. Did this nigga do that? No, he did. What did he do? The first thing he did was take over Chernobyl. Because he know these niggas is crazy, and these liberal Democrat um, communists, neo Nazis, would basically set off a nuke, blame it on him, and now all the NATO is coming to attack him. You see what I'm saying? So mm. he shut that down right away. Mm. Number mm. one, mm. he shut that down. Number two, he shut down all six or whatever areas where they hid these biolab bases because they put the biolab bases in residential areas. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because they have been low-key working and testing biological agents on the Ukrainian population since 1991 when they set all this shit up. So this nigga is like, look, these niggas that set off the corona shit and now they got these labs here and they're trying to buy more land. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to go shut this shit down right now. And that's what he did. <laughs> Look, they still got running water. They still could go on the internet. Right? And what are they doing? They're kicking every, they're getting everybody out the country except the Nigerians. Except the Africans. Right? <laughs> right? Because mm -hmm. instead of the Africans staying in Nigeria to build their own colleges up, these niggas is out there in Ukraine, in the cold, being being pushed away from the border. You see what I'm saying? Being ridiculed through the racist Ukrainians that's out there. This is not all Ukrainians, but the shit I've seen, they on some F nigga shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so whatever y'all say, whatever, whatever. So... You have to understand if he's banning on Nazis, then that means that he's fulfilling the other part of what they said Trump was doing. You see what I'm saying? Mm, mm. See what I'm saying? Mm. So this operation is really about destabilizing the the, the so-called bioweapon shit and the Nazi rise in all of Europe. And the communists, this the this is the irony. The communists are the one doing it. <laughs> <laughs> The communists are fighting for freedom and liberty. Think about that shit, bro. I don't like Putin. I respect him, though. I'm not into communism, but I'm about right and wrong. <laughs> and right now, that nigga's in the right. When the when the when the when the Africans was being racially profiled and beat up and shit in Russia, this nigga Putin went on TV that night and was like, look. Y'all niggas is not going to do anything to these foreigners, specifically the Africans. If y'all niggas do anything to these Africans while I'm president, I'm locking all of y'all up. You know what? They said this has been a utopia for niggas out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real man. talk. Like, real talk. Like, real man. talk. So all I'm saying is 
the Democrats, the people who are acting like we supposed to stand with Ukraine, these are all the racists, whether they black, if they on TV, CNN, you understand? You understand they got Cardi B talking about this shit? You understand what I'm saying? Meanwhile, this nigga came out, Putin also came out and said that rap, <laughs> rap is great, but it is being used um, as a means of propaganda. And yeah. he feels that the state should control it and guide the music to stop the 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 the, the, the listeners from degenerating themselves. But he also had an op where they was taken, where the Russian government was taking people who look black, African, or whatever, feeding them American culture, rap specifically or whatever, sending them to the United States, right? And putting them in the music industry to perpetuate the same fucking crazy kill music shit that we listening to today. Mm. Mm. All to destabilize the United States and further disenfranchise the blacks who are the who are being what targeted by who neo Nazis. You see the mm. same neo Nazis that's running the Ukraine. You see what I'm saying? It's the same ones now where they've been created agents. So when I look at it, I'm like, you know what's funny? Twenty One Savage is from Britain. Mm. What's his name? Um. I started looking at these rappers. Most of these rappers is not even born in America. These niggas is from everywhere else. Start looking. Even Cool Hurt, Cool Hurt from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Okay? This nigga from Jamaica. He found a hip hop. Where African Mulata from? See what I'm saying? So you got to start to understand that just like on TV, they have all of these black shows about dealing drugs and us selling drugs and mothers um getting their sons to kill they to kill their fathers and shit like that. Like this is what power and all this shit is about, right? right. Snowfall and all these half the niggas on these shows is not even American. Yeah, that, the yeah. nigga from Snowfall is from fucking Africa. The nigga who played Fred Hampton is not even from the country. Yeah. He's not even from here. It's facts. So you so you got so it's okay for Africans to come and make us look crazy, right? Mm -hmm. To make us look like 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 the neo Nazis is doing something positive by killing us, right? Mm -hmm. When these niggas can go back home, right? Put on a brutish accent and shit, right? And not have to deal with none of this shit we gotta deal with. Because if God forbid anything go down, all of these foreigners that's here can leave. Mm -hmm. Where could we go? Mm -hmm. Where could we go? Nowhere. Because mm -hmm. this has always been our home. We ain't been from nowhere else. I don't come from no Lucy goddamn Neanderthal monkey from Africa. It's not true. Because mm -hmm. if it was, they wouldn't have made a, t a movie about it with Scarlett Johansson going and meeting the bitch. Showing you who they're saying this Lucy is descended from. <laughs> Go look at that movie and you see at the end she winds up coming face to face with this black monkey. That's Lucy. So if she is her descendant, what does that mean? So if they're the Neanderthals, if they're the alien, what are you? Hmm. We're the only humans left on the planet, bro. Because we're the only ones that have are the only ones that's still banging on global white supremacy. It's only us. It's only we're us. the only ones left. Nobody, everybody else joining up with these niggas. Everybody. So if they are, so if they are a celebrity, that is a collaborator. You understand? If he is an entertainer, that is an agent. That's how you got to start looking at these niggas. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately or fortunately, it's better we know now than pattern our whole reality against these niggas. Because I saw the I saw the clip of Cardi B was playing WAP, and then her daughter came in the room and she turned that shit off quick, fast. <laughs> so what that said to me was, okay, bitch, you are willing to destroy my daughter, but your daughter. Right? Needs to not hear this shit? Okay. And now this is the same devil that's talking, that's making comments about the Ukraine? What? Me, thank you, Queen. Meanwhile, they done made this bitch the head of Playboy. The same Playboy that had Brooke Shields at 11 naked on the goddamn cover. 
the same playboy that Bill Cosby and them niggas used to go to the orgies at. The same playboy mansion and Hugh Hefner that has sex blackmail tapes on people and celebrities going back to the 60s, my nigga. Mm -hmm. And now, what is Cardi... So now, what Cardi B is what going to class it up? <laughs> like, like, what are you going to do? Don yeah. Cornelius had a room there. He had his own yeah, yeah, they, they, they got the documentary, I think, on Netflix. Yo, you man. saw that shit? I seen one of yeah, that's crazy. Boy, Yo, and these crazy. Niggas, but these niggas is out here talking about R. Kelly. Sure. What? Locking bitches up for three, four days. Locking bitches up for days. He got bitches locked up in the bridal for days. Marvin Gaye, Marvin Gaye who was a fucking serial killer. They they got they got reports on this nigga that this nigga was a serial killer out here killing people. Mm. <laughs> Talk about what's going on. Yo, I, I said you know we I'm li listen. We we got to do a part two. We got to yeah, do, do a it. part two. Uh, how's next week for you? Uh, Islam. Islam. Uh, wait. What is next week? Next week Friday. You have to next week Thursday. Next week Thursday is good. All right. Well, let's let's confirm early in the week. For now, let's say Thursday, but let's confirm early in the week. But <laughs> brother, this was absolutely fire tonight. Thank you you, you gave us a lot to research. I never even seen that 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 exotic map that you were showing, bro. You gave us a lot to research and look up, and and you gave us a homework assignment assignment tonight, my brother. Yes, please, man. Please, y'all do it, and don't let these people con you into believing that Moors are the are the bane of existence when half of y'all ain't even heard about Moors until you started watching Moors videos on the internet. Don't let these niggas yeah. make you block your blessing, make you deny your nationality. You don't have to be something that you're not, but you should be what your ancestors allowed you because, like I said, we are the only ones on record banging on these niggas, B. Mm. We are, to this day, so regardless of what they want to tell you about your culture and your history, don't let them divide us. Just because I'm a Moorish American, uh, a sultan in the Moorish Empire, doesn't mean that I don't acknowledge the Tetralogy and the, and the Washo and the uh, Sheminel Seminole heritage that I got. Like, I don't stop being that because I'm this. Mm -hmm. Stop making these niggas think you can turn off your nationality and your allegiance the same way you do the water. That's for suckers, man. Men and women stand for principles and real shit in the world. If these niggas don't stand for nothing, they fall for everything. That's why they quick to put on dresses and stockings and all this shit. But these niggas would put all of that on before they put a fez or a turban on. These niggas will always talk about Ukraine instead of what we need to do to help the so-called African continent and get the African Union to go in there and help their own people. So don't mm. let these niggas come and tell you about yourself because somebody always got something to say about what the Moorish Americans, i.e. the so-called blacks in America, is doing and not doing. When everybody is low-key subsistent off of our ancient estates mm. and living in land that we freed for them. Mm. The reason why we don't have a nationality now is because we gave it to everybody else in the world to have a run. And now we're getting to the point where it's coming back to us. So don't let these niggas block you out your blessing, make you think that you are Indian or an African or any other thing that you're not. Your most 10 chance to one if you was born here, your ancestors, your grandmother, your grandfathers, your, your nieces and uncles and them, they ain't never told you nothing about no Africa, man. So don't make that shit and don't make yourself a pariah in your family. I believe it's some shit that's not true. Now, I'm not saying that we don't have so-called African ancestry. But again, Africa is a Latin word. It is not an African word. So why are we using a Moorish word, right, to describe an African place if Moors themselves wasn't the true lords of Africa? Why so everybody from the same tribe and from the same place that Yo, you saw that? How they got the new shit? They trying to put the G in to make everybody the celebrities believe that they all come from Africa on Love and Hip Hop now? Uh, so I, I didn't, yeah, I didn't even see that. That's crazy. Wow. Yo, keep that more. They got all these niggas coming from Cameroon from the same place and shit. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Right? That's all to dissuade people from listening to people like me. Because mm. that bitch that run African ancestry, she's a fucking 
a soror. She's a sorority. So, mm. so you bringing everybody back to Africa, but then at the same time, you're doing Greek rituals, bitch? That's what you're doing? Mm. That, that's the side we on? That's how we can do it? No. Don't let these niggas box you out of your blessing, and don't let these niggas kick you out of your own house. This is your house. That's why everybody come in here. So don't let them kick you out. Know where you at. And if anything, let's get our nationality and our equity and all that shit right so we can start charging these niggas rent again. Start evicting these niggas again. Because we can do it if we all following what they say. If we all on code. But it ain't going to happen if niggas is out here calling themselves this and that. And now the news, now we're what? We foundational black Americans? What? what? Like, what? Like, what? Okay, cool. That's what y'all want to call yourself now? Cool. Who owned that term, though? Who mm. copyrighted that term, though? <laughs> and if I do use that, does that mean now that I got to pay a copyright fee for that? And if so, to who? Mm. Just like being black. Just like being African-American. Who invented that? Jesse Jackson. So I'm supposed to now identify myself based on what messy Jesse said? Mm. Come on, y'all. Come on, hey. y'all. It's like Thug Kid. Yeah, all of these sites that act like they black when they really white people running it. Mm. All of this shit is fake, more. So, yeah, let's get into part two. And, um, again, thanks, Selena, for holding me down. Thanks some more. Thank you, brother, for having me on. Again, um... Leave your contact please. info one more time, my brother. Leave your yes, contact. Yes, please. Anybody want to hit me up, hit me up at houseofl at hotmail.com. That's H-O-U-S-E-O-F-E-L at Hotmail.com. Anybody wants to send a donation, you could do so to Cash App, uh, capital uh, money sign, capital D-S-418. That's D-S-418. Um, anybody want to check out some of my older stuff, you can go to www.asirthedukeoftears.com. You can check me out on YouTube under asirthedukeoftears.com. Pretty soon I'm going to set up another page on Odyssey. So look out for that coming. Also, I've got another website coming. That's going to be the name of my um, DS418, which is the name of my book and the uh, associated comic universe I'm creating for that. So that way we can start banging on these niggas in the animation, literary, cartoon world. Because that's the only way it seems like there's people who pay attention. You got to have a Netflix show about it. So that's what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, again, man. Honors to all of the ancestors that passed. Rest in peace to um Brother Dawu and the 7139 Collective, Sister Cookie. Our prayers uh, go out to you. Um, Big up to you, Brother Rich, as one of the few people, like I said, since I started back in, what, 2002. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, doing this. And then we linked up around 2004 uh, when we did that first joint downtown, remember? Yeah, on the streets, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, more. So again, man, from then to now, yeah, brother, brother Tahuti was out there with us back in the day. <laughs> Big up to him. Word, facts. Remember? Yeah, facts. Back in the days. So again, man, I give respect to everybody that's been in this for as long as I have, and even longer. And we need to support and give respect and power to the people that's here. Also, anybody, definitely check it out. Definitely check this out. This is the joint. And um, Islam. And um, this is what it's about, man. Indeed. Being industrious, having our own nation, having our own equity, and being able to do business with one another, man, and give each other our flowers while we're here, like you said. So again, brother, thank you for having me on, man. Indeed, thank you, my brother. Next time we're gonna make sure the video work, family. But uh, I'll yeah. holla at you sometime early in the week, and we'll definitely set it up sometime soon, my okay. brother. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, okay so, my brother. I'll talk to you soon. Thank Peace. You, brother. Love to the audience, man. Yes, yes. Peace, brother. Peace. Man, that was such a great show, family. That was a great show. A lot for us to research. Uh, next time we'll make sure the video is in alignment. The brother's gonna come with some pictures. Uh, this is brother Rich. I was just live with I see the Duke of Tears. If you came in late, the brother was having technical difficulties with his video, so we wanted to definitely do the show tonight. So we just had to go to audio route and put the phone up to the microphone. Y'all see my Buddha. This is my new mic stand. Uh, Buddha, he holds me down. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but yeah, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We got a packed room tonight, about 20, 20, 2,200 people in here. Make sure you donate to the Cash App family. Show support so we continue to...
produce amazing content for, for y'all and get some amazing guests on this show. Um, been reaching out to a lot of different people lately. Uh, got a few surprise guests coming up soon. But with that being said, family, y'all have a safe night. Uh, make sure you program your mind before you go to sleep with some positive affirmations, things you want to manifest in this 3D simulation we call reality or what we call the world. And with that being said, family, I'm going to see y'all next time. I might be back here tonight, family, so I'll probably see y'all tomorrow, right? Peace, family.